Uh, I, I've got to change the tone just a little bit on a, on a more somber note. Uh, as many of you know, I am sad to report that since last year, Cat Care Society and Tales of Pain and Cats and the Denver community at large have lost two very wonderful and important people. People who are volunteers, pet lovers, artists, philanthropists, citizens, and I'd like to take a moment just to honor them briefly. The first, of course, is Linda James Goda. Linda passed away on November 20th, 2012 from pneumonia. Leaves behind a community indebted to her service. Linda served as a jurist for all three tales of the painted cats fundraisers. As a jurist, she helped select the artist whose work you see here today and whose work you saw in 2011 and in 2012. Linda also volunteered with the Cancer League of Colorado. She battled leukemia for a decade, Arapahoe House, the Denver Symphony Orchestra, Cherry Peak Arts Festival, and Denver Hospice, where she coordinated the MASS Project, the organization's largest fundraiser. I knew Linda very, very well, worked with her on many of those uh, events, and uh, she certainly will be missed. The second person I'd like to honor is Kathy Burles. Kathy passed away on March 24th of this year, and like Linda, Kathy also served as a jurist for all three of the Cat Care Society's Tales of the Painted Cats fundraisers, selecting the art that you see here today and that you also saw in 2011 and 2012. A strong supporter of art on a community level, Kathy was an accomplished painter and teacher and served as art director and founding member of the Lakewood Arts Council, which is one of our sponsors here this evening. And where our Painted Cats have made their opening debut each spring, Kathy loved the originality of the Painted Cats and the creative opportunity that the project provides for the local artists. Kathy believed that everyone who had an interest in art deserved the chance to show their art, regardless of the level of expertise. Oh my gosh, I painted one. <laughs> in this spirit, of course, Kathy supported the kids' art show, showing works and writings from participants at the Jefferson County Developmental Disabilities Resource Center. As we celebrate Cat Care Society and the wonderful creativity of the artists who shared their skills with us today, let us remember Linda and Kathy left us before they could see the fruits of their labor. Certainly, both will be missed. Now I want to thank this year's talented team of 